Once again, Club President, friends, good evening. Did you notice earlier when some speakers greeted the audience, the audience didn't know whether to respond or not, or how to respond? The key is actually in how you word the greeting. If you say good evening, everybody, it doesn't sound like you're expecting one. But if you say everyone, good evening, yeah. you see, it's almost instinctive. So this is one of the things to, you can do to present with impact. Learning how what you say creates a different impact in your audience. And today we're going to start with something simple. I only have five minutes, unfortunately, but five minutes will be enough to demonstrate one of the things you'll be learning at our upcoming Present with Impact workshop. Now, as I roll this up here, I'm sure some of you recognize the words here. Thank you. Everyone can read it, right? My handwriting is not too bad. Good. So here's what I want you to do. I want you to pair up. Okay, just pair up. Uh, tap your pair on the hand so you know that you have a pair. If you don't have a pair, please raise your hand. <laughs> and then you can find a pair. <laughs> Anyone not have a pair? Okay. If you don't have a pair, then threesome works fine for this activity. Okay? <laughs> okay, so everyone's got a pair. Good. So what I want you to do in your pair or little trio is I want you to take turns. Okay, uh, let's see. So one of you should be an A, the other should be a B. Quickly choose A or B. A. Okay. Chosen? Good. So A is, A is, I want you to say this to B. Okay? Say it to B. And go. So as to achieve happiness, prosperity, and progress for our nation. Simple, right? Okay, so B is your turn to say this back to A, but I want you to sound more authoritative. Whoa. Okay, B, go. Okay. Did everyone get a chance? Is that is there a C or there's no more C? Okay, if there's a C, right? C, your turn. Okay, no C. Fantastic. So here's what we're going to do. Notice as you were hearing the other person say it, did you feel that the other person spoke with presence? Yes. Mm. Did the other person speak with credibility? Yes. Was there authority? Yes. Now, when I say authority, I don't mean to be overbearing. I don't mean to be aggressive. But authority in a way that when you say it, it can be trusted. It sounds like you mean business. You show competence from the way that you speak. And here's what I like all of you to do, okay? As you're seated, that's fine. I'm just going to run you through some warm-ups that I learned from this coach. She's called the Million Dollar Voice Coach. She coaches celebrities in Hollywood and all of that for the way they speak. And I paid enough money to her for me to share <laughs> these secrets with you. Are you ready? Yes. Now, before you speak, the thing is we never really think about how we warm up our voice. And as a result, our voices have very different qualities it sounds different. And how the voice sounds can actually have an impact on how credible you sound. How you enunciate makes a difference as well. For example, if I were to read this like that, so as to achieve happiness, prosperity, and progress for our nation. Mm -hmm. You understood what I'm saying, but it doesn't sound half as credible, isn't it? So here's one of the warm-ups you can do. Step one. Please don't spit at anyone in front of you. <laughs> if you can't do it with the tongue out, just let your lips vibrate. Just let air pass through your lips as you close it gently, okay? I'm going to do it for 30 seconds, okay? <laughs> okay, you know time. So that's the first step. Second step, do a siren. So imagine ambulance, right? Uh, uh. Uh, uh, so just <laughs> uh, okay. Now I know some of you have, like, what are we doing here? This is how professionals actually warm up their voice before they speak. As a professional trainer, if I run three days of talking from nine to five, I lose my voice. So these warm-ups will help you warm up and help you gain that credibility, right? So why I'm asking all of you to do it now is after this, we're going to try a little activity. So you can hear, or at least your partner will hear if you sound a little different or not, okay? Third thing to do, tongue stretch. What is a tongue stretch? <laughs> 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 
you should feel some stretch in your tongue. Why is this important? Because it's the tongue that vocalizes the sounds that you make. If you had no tongue, you cannot speak. Okay? Ah. Fourth thing to do, scrunch and relax. So scrunch looks like... Relax. One more time. Okay? Last thing to do. If you can exaggerate your mouth. So I want everyone to read this slowly with me, right? By slowly, I mean, as I move my finger along the word, you try to drag out the sound. Okay? So it'll be... So... so Prosperity and progress for our nature. Now, I know it sounds silly, but <laughs> especially for those of you who have to deal with people from other uh, English speaking countries. And we have a Singlish accent or our mother tongue, maybe uh, we're from India or China, and we don't enunciate with the same kind of precision that they expect. That is the <clears> best activity for you to do some accent correction so people know what you're saying. Okay, does my voice sound different? Yes. It does, right? So now again with your partners, A's, oh no, this time B should go first, right? With your partners, try saying this again in a way that you think befits credibility. Okay? B's begin. So, let's achieve happiness, prosperity, and progress for our nation. Was it better? <laughs> okay, Ace, you try. Okay, Ace, begin. So, as to achieve happiness, prosperity, and progress for our nation. <laughs> All right, thank your partner. I'll give your partner half time and say, you're awesome. All right, so that's just one thing you've learned in about five or six minutes here. Imagine if you could have four sessions of learning in terms of how to present with impact at work. All of you have great brains. You work hard, but if there's a reason that you're not getting that promotion, you're not getting the credibility you deserve, maybe it's the way that you speak. So in this four-part workshop, we'll be sharing a lot of tips, tricks, and details like this that you can learn, immediately practice, get personalized coaching on, and then apply so that you internalize those skills. And to tell you more about that workshop, let's have the organizing chair, Tia.